Hi everyone, this is Giorgio Sartori, sales manager for GET, the electronic division of Athena. Today we're here to show you and explain you how to reflash an ECU from one bike model to another. First of all, let's have a look at uh, what's included in the Maya EVO software kit. We basically have a USB key and a programming cable. The USB key includes Maya software and related manuals, while the programming cable is composed by a USB connector to be connected on the USB port of your PC, programming connector to be connected on the ECU, programming switch, and power supply to be connected on the battery. After you installed Maya software, which is in the USB stick included in the Maya EVO programming kit, you can double click on the icon to open the software. The first thing to do is to open the device file of the application that you want to reflash the ECU. To do that, you go on File, Open Device. You then look for your file maps, which in this case are saved on desktop and you double click on the folder which you want the ECU to be reflashed with. In this case, Honda CRF 450 2018. You will see the Maya device file. Again, double click on that. Now that we have the device file loaded, uh, we need to load uh, the project file. Again, we go on File, Open Map Project. Same procedure, in this case desktop, on the CRF 450 2018 folder and we load the Maya map project file. Maya will confirm you that everything has been successfully loaded by highlighting in green application map 1 and map 2. Before reflashing the ECU we need to do an extra procedure which is the portcom selection. To do that you go on file, preferences, communication, and you click on the scan port icon. The software will ask you to follow some simple steps uh, and we just do that by clicking on Next. Next. Maya software is asking now to verify if all the connections are properly made, such as if the ECU is properly connected to the programming cable, if the programming cable is properly connected to the USB port of your laptop, and if you have a fully 12 volt charge battery connected to your programming cable. Once you verify this, you can go ahead by clicking on Next. Maya will pop up saying that an ECU has been found on a specific port. To save that, we need to click on Finish. We click then on OK. We are now ready to reflash the ECU. To do that, we go on Communication, Download to ECU. Again, Maya wants to ensure that everything has been correctly connected. And if the programming switch is open, as you can see on the image. After you verify this, you can click on OK. The programming procedure is now started and you just have to wait until the bar finishes to load. Make sure that you don't have any other software running below and any other USB device connected to your laptop. The download procedure is now completed and you can click on OK. Before you can use the ECU on your new application, you need to also set the end of line. To do that, you need to go on Tools, End of Line and click on Reset End of Line. Once you did this, you just need to click on Close. You are now ready to use your ECU on your new application.